Hello there, Gracie Ruth here and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create your first messenger chatbot free. Okay, first you need a Facebook business page, make sure you have that and then create an account with ManyChat. Once you create an account it would link to your Facebook business page and now we're gonna create our first uh, messenger chat box. Uh, we're gonna click on growth tools click on new growth tools and here are different options on how to collect Facebook Messenger uh, subscribers in your e in your website so we're gonna click create a um, slide in this looks, looks nice and it's effective and not intrusive so the background we can create the background any color we like and it could be our brand color that's what I like about this because you can you have the up uh, you know the liberty to change it to your brand colors okay now the button of oh, the back uh, button could be white okay yes and the headline uh, it's black it could be white if you like it let's find out yeah perfect I like it black and This is the first image. Okay. Get your content calendar to schedule your posts. Click on the button to get it today. And this is going to be black because the previous color was too faded. Okay, and we can select to create it uh, to create the button small or large. I'm going to select it for large. We can even add a picture. Could be a picture of you or a picture of your ebook or whatever you're giving out. Let's see. So I'm going to customize it with a picture of me. Okay, grab my new content calendar template. Perfect. Okay, there. And we can create, uh, decide on where we want the description to be above or below the picture. Okay, like that. And when does it get displayed? I want it displayed immediately. So when a person lands into my home page, this will slide up right away. Okay, show the same widget again after one day. And then if manually close by, select one day. So they will always see this even if they were in my website yesterday. So now we can customize this again change the color there and the button background I want it orange not too bright yeah that that looks good and the headline we can type here and change it confirm thank you and here a little message you will get a serious a series of messages with more tips with more tips okay and we can add the picture here again and again it's up to you if you want to add a picture or not uh, I want to make it very customizable very you know me uh, but if you want to 
even customize it even better you can redirect them to your to your thank you page which is located in within your uh, wordpress website so instead of typing www dot your wordpress site.com don't do this put the forward slash and the thank you and it, it will know where to send the people so we're gonna just keep it the way we have it before click on next and it's going to the opt-in options and this is where we create uh, okay we need to save the op save what we created we click on edit and this is a message that we're um, that the subscriber is gonna get is um, so it needs to be customized so we're gonna click here change it because this is very generic so it could be very personal hey first name and it also gives you an option if you don't have if you don't know the name of the person or there's no name sometimes uh, Facebook business pages have um, the name of their brand or their business so it could be hey friend hey friend you can also add um, emojis here different emojis here so it's up to you what what do you want to select here it's up to you so let's find something so it depends on your brand uh, let's select something nice any type of emoji you can select here okay let's put a flag if it goes according to your business page so I'm gonna change the message here and I'm gonna say glad to hear from you Okay, the message is more personalized now. Hey, first name, glad to hear from you. I look forward to being in touch until I can get back to you. Here are some options and the options are the buttons. So I want to invite this person or anyone who comes to my page to uh, join me for a virtual tea. So I'm gonna type here the message, let's have tea. And I'm going to click on select on open website and here's where we're going to enter a URL and I use Acuity scheduling to schedule online appointments with uh, prospects or clients so I copy the link go back here and paste it saved okay now we're going to add a new one this one is awesome awesome so let's say the person uh, wants to really talk to you right now. They cannot wait until you reply with an email or something else. So call Gracie and the reply is with a phone number. So here's where you add your phone number. Okay, perfect, wonderful. And this is another amazing thing that um, ManyChat has. You can add an image, you can add a card, you can add a gallery, a list, or your PDF. You can attach it here. Uh, like the, I'm offering a content calendar template so I can add it here and just add it here. Or I can add an image. Let's see an image let's find out what image I'm going to put I wasn't planning on adding an image but um, uh, 
let's select this one and it's just for testing just to show you and then it gives me the option to move this to the top or to the bottom so that's depending on your on your needs and your wants for your um, branding and now we can publish this content publish okay now we're going to test this out we're going to click on preview and there it is it sent me a message i'm going to go to my messenger and it's here this is a message that says hey gracie glad to hear from you look forward to being in touch let's have tea let's find out if it works yes it works it took me into my acuity schedule and, and then i can set up the you know the um, time zone let's say on the 16 yes i want to meet at 10 a.m or 11 a.m continue and then you type your name and um, phone number email and schedule it okay great now let's call gracie let's call myself open face uh yeah open facetime yes it works wonderful this is amazing i love it i love it don't open okay perfect it works so that's my messenger it works okay now we created the let's go back here the open growth i'm gonna rename it uh, content calendar that's what I was um, that's what I'm offering the, all, the content calendar so now we're gonna show you how to set it up install JavaScript snippet so you're gonna go into your WordPress website into the back end and you're going to enter your WordPress uh, your your website here gracyruth.com and then add it it's gonna look for it. it's gonna search for it and it's gonna know that it's a WordPress website and then we're gonna click on next and it's gonna give me a code that code we need to install it into the back end of our website and then this is gonna pop up every time so this is really really an amazing software application and this is free and you know I, with the free uh, features is wonderful can you imagine what the paid version would have even more amazing uh, features to use oh one more thing we need to activate this activate it there friends thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy it please like comment and share and also at the bottom if you have any requests please write it down and um, subscribe to my channel i share new tutorials every week thank you so much and we'll see you in the next tutorial